Welcome back to Gracewood Farms. As some of you heard, we lost our flock of chickens to an unknown predator, but we now have some possible culprits thanks to our trail cam and some investigating. So stay tuned in this edition of Gracewood Farms, Who Done It? Um, back in December, we lost a large amount of our flock, about 17 birds, when in the middle of the day, when James came home from work, um, he found their bodies scattered around the yard. If you want to know more, you can watch our other video. We will link that here in the card so that you can check that out. Um, so I'm outside today with James. This is our baby, Malachi. Our little guy, Noah. Um, myself, I'm Rachel, and our oldest daughter is Evangeline. She's not outside right now with us. Um, and so basically, it was one of the situations where James called me. He's like, hey, Rachel, all the chickens are dead. My heart dropped into my stomach. I felt sick. Um, it was absolutely devastating. James and I were really devastated. Those were chicks that we raised from little babies. Uh, so we were very sad. All right, guys. So like Rachel said, we can put a trail cam up to see what was going on. This is it right here. We put it uh, so we can see down into the backyard. As we told you, there was, uh, we found the chicken bodies uh, spread throughout the yard around here and into the backyard. The camera is motion activated. So we get all sorts of stuff coming up. Uh, anything from the neighbor's lights coming on to um, uh, the branches here moving. Uh, we actually caught uh, some deer on the trail cam. Evie has fondly named the buck Pickles the deer, and he has a girlfriend. Um, yeah, and then we also caught a couple turkeys as well, walking right through here. And we also caught something else. Something some of you had already thought about, and we kind of hopefully had ruled it out, but we found the neighbor's dog over here, standing right about here looking into the chicken run. So, coincidence? I don't know. We caught two pictures of her. Oh, one here and one a little bit over here more, but you know, coming up to the up to the the chicken coop. So, that's our findings thus far. Um, you can see Noah's trying to get into the camera, but behind us is a field, which is actually partially owned by us and partially the top of it is owned by Amish and they own 90 acres behind us as well and across the highway, which you might hear the highway in the background. Um, but it's just rolling acres of woods and fields. So we have a lot of wild animals. Um, not too far from here, there's been bear sightings, but I don't think a bear ate our chickens in the middle of the day. No. Uh, and then in front of us, we do have a large neighborhood and we have neighbors um, over here to my right. So it's possible, a lot of you said it was a dog that got our chickens. You could be right. We're starting to wonder along with you if it was actually a dog. That was not our initial thought though. All right, guys, so I'm back on here. They, uh, the chickens are actually doing quite well, if you'll see here. Noah's in here helping me collect eggies. So we have officially named the uh, white crested uh, chicken here as, a, as Tina Turner. Uh, I am happy to say that all three of these hens are laying again that is amazing <clears throat> so we're getting we're getting two to three eggs a day obviously it's not perfect um but all three all yeah excuse me all three are laying and junior the rooster is just doing awesome uh, as you can see there we go mama's got the baby now uh, so as you can see in the background we have the neighborhood across the way um so we have not had anything like this happen before. <clears throat> so we have not had anything happen like this before. We have been raising chickens for the, since we've been married together and I've been raising them for what, 12 years now? Yeah. So we've had chickens. Um, when I was in college, I actually had my own little layer business. Uh, I had 101 chickens and we were selling 
between 25 and 30 dozen a week. So between the local high school and the university. Uh, so we were, we were doing pretty good. And that was before yeah. all of the pandemic and egg oh, yes. shortage and food shortages it's before any of that. That was like, uh, what, 2014 to uh, 2010 to 2014 era mm -hmm. area. Uh, so yeah, we've been raising chickens for a while now. So as we've talked before on previous videos, uh, we told you about how we had built a trash can feeder right here. It does awesome. I could put a 50 pound sack of feed in there and it's just awesome. Just like they say, set it and forget it. Um, so yeah, there's their feeder. Um, but we also wanted to try a couple things uh, different. So we had been setting the chickens out to free range and that's when it happened. We have been free ranging for going on two, two and a half years, not permanently out, um, just on good days, you know, when, the, when it's not real breezy, not too, you know, I mean, stormy or anything. Um, just let the chickens out in the yard, let them do their thing. Let them, let chickens be chickens. Let animals be animals. Um, try to get them off as much of processed feed uh, as much as we possibly can. Like I said, let chickens be chickens. Um, and so after two, two and a half years of us doing this, suddenly we have an animal that decides, hey, I want a chicken salad sandwich. I'm not quite sure, like I said, what exactly it was. Is a coincidence that the neighbor's dog was caught on the camera? I hope, but we're not 100% sure. Was it that dog? Uh, she has two of them, so... We will, uh, we're going to keep the trail cam up to find out what's going on with that. But as you can see here, the girls and Junior are doing awesome. Junior's back is all healed up. He's doing great. Uh, Tina is doing pretty good too. See her scratch in there. As you can see, I need to, need to change out the water and Noah got into the oyster shell. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, oyster shell... This little fun fact for you. Oyster shell, we, we use it as free choice in a little uh, rabbit feeder. We use it in a, uh, you make sure if you're going to use it, make sure you get one with a solid bottom. You don't want one of the mesh ones. Don't get a mesh. That's not good. Uh, get a solid bottom and you can put oyster shell in there free, uh, free choice. And they will pick at it if the hen needs it. They can get it. Uh, the calcium in the oyster shell helps make the uh, uh, eggshell stronger. Sorry, I've been in and out because um, the other two are outside playing with bubbles. If you hear them screaming, they're fine. They're fighting over the bubbles. So I have to um, referee them. But anyway, we have chicks coming in just a few weeks. We have 10 chicks coming that we have ordered. What are the two breeds we got? We got Blue Plymouth Rock and... I believe. I thought they were a black, Moran. Black, black copper, copper Moran. We got five black copper Moran and five blue Plymouth Rock. We have also contacted um, a homestead about getting breast chickens, which are not available until the summer in smaller quantities. We'd have to order 25, and we don't want that many um, to start with. So we're going to try to get 10 to 12, including a rooster. And then we would also like to get some Americana and Ericanas at like Royal King and Tractor Supply. So our goal is to get these 10 at the end of March um, and then either around that time, go ahead and get Americana, Ericana so that we have color in our egg selection. So our aim is to have around 30 to 35 egg layers. Here, baby. There you go. There you go, Critter. What do you say? You're welcome. Okay, I'll hold the lid for you. What do you say, Noah Bug? Get them. Get them. <laughs> Love it. Uh, but that's our plan as of now for replenishing our flock. Obviously, it's a huge loss. And mm -hmm. in the meantime, we've lost out on a lot. So, but that's it, I think, for us. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, we have, like she said, we have chicks on the way. We're finding out a little bit more as to what happened. Is that 100% what happened to the chickens? We're going to find out, hopefully. Um, like Rachel said, though, we've been, uh, we, I said, we've been doing this for two, two and a half years. Um, suddenly this happened. All right, guys. So that's the update for right now as to what's going on with the chickens here on the homestead. 
Um, stay tuned and we will show you a little bit more as to what's going on as things progress with the chicken watch. Um, also, we'll keep you up to date with our chicks and also we will have coming up soon, garden watch 2023. So, all right guys, we look forward to talking to you soon. Take care, God bless.